What's up everybody? It's your boy named Matthews and I'm back again with another video and I can actually talk a little bit better now I still got two big holes in my mouth, but I've been able to eat now And uh, by the way, I'm talking about because I got my wisdom teeth removed if you guys have did not see my other previous video Anyways, I'm back again with another video I'm doing something that I've never done before not even off of camera This is gonna be my first time trying it on camera. I am scared. What I am gonna be doing though is using a straight edge razor to shave my head bald. And we're going to be using ceramic bowl, uh, Parasol green shaving soap. We have the Eskly badger brush and we're going to be using um, some standard uh, blades. So let me go ahead and set the rest of this up. Always start by filling this with some hot water. And while the hot water is filling in, um, I let this brush sit in there so it can kind of get, even though it's already a soft brush I'm just gonna let this sit in there to let it get just a little bit softer smash it around in the tub a little bit I really don't know how to get a like a good amount I don't know what's a good amount I always just experiment every single time it's like uh we'll see if this is too much I'll add some water if not I'll dip it in here again but right now this is what we have this is the pre-shave stuff I've been talking about shave secret as I told you guys before, if you don't know, I normally only use this when I use a straight edge razor. Like after I use my clippers to line this up, I go over it again with the straight edge and I put this on it. By the way, any products that I use and uh, anything you guys want to try that I also have, um, link in the description. Just go on the website, best prices and everything. You guys will also be helping me out by clicking on those uh, affiliate links to make your purchase. I'm going to go ahead and wet my head up. did it earlier, but it seems like it dried out. Go ahead and throw some water on my head. Mix in three drops of the Shave Secret. Rub this all over. So normally when I shave my head, I use, got the stand for it and everything, but I use the double edge safety razor. Now if you guys can see this, I don't, hopefully it'll focus. I got the good camera today. Maybe I gotta, there it goes. If you guys didn't know, that's the way, um, uh, double edge safety razor works the hair only gets cut when it can fit into the little slot that's right there on either side actually that's the only way it'll cut um, after so many swipes on my head the hair gets clogged in there and it will not cut unless you clear it out so the only way to clear it out usually I just put it in the sink and just shake it around in some water but if it gets clogged up too bad and I think it's also because of this like thick uh, pre-shave that I put on there that causes the hairs to stick I always have to end up loosening the blade up a little bit to the point where you guys uh, hopefully you guys see to the point there's some wiggle room and then I do the same thing and put it in the sink and the hairs usually come out but since I don't remember having to usually do that before um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot with uh, the straight edge razor. Now this is the same straight edge razor I've had ever since you know I fir barely first started um, shaving and stuff like that. This is the Parker SR1. You guys can see that there. I'm going to show it to you. Boom like this. Open it up. Now it's already got a blade in there from last time but um, I got a pack of like a hundred blades. Um, and when you do them, when you only need one edge and they come double edge, so you're pretty much getting 200. So I only use the blades one time, even though you could probably use it, you know, get away with using it at least two times, two or three times. I only use it once because I have so many and to prevent any uh, excuses of why it's not cutting good or not. Or maybe I might forget how many times I used the blade previously. Um, so just leave the old one in. Or just take it out and throw it out and every time I'm about to shave pop a fresh one in so this is the thing the straight edge fully opened looks like some Bruce Lee stuff huh like Whoa! Ooh. I'm just kidding Whoa! Ooh. all right so the blades I'm gonna be using today are the persona double edge blades which are the normal blades I always use um, I actually have used these ones once these are the blades that came with the um, razor these are sharp blades I've used these maybe twice actually. I think I had a, a pack of three or five maybe. I don't know. I've used these. These work pretty good, but I try to keep this one in the pack just in case I uh, go out of town. I can just take the whole pack right here and already have everything I need right there. But anyways, for today, we're going to go ahead and use the Persona. I'll show you guys how to do it. 
you got to keep it in the wrapper when you do this because it is a double edge as you can see through the tissue paper right there um, when you use a straight edge it only takes one sided one side of the blade so um, what you do keep it in the back so you don't cut yourself bend it in half and you'll hear a snap and then you're all set to go so then you can peel it open and take out just the half that you need they're both the exact same halves so just pick a side you just put the little grooves that's on this slot onto here let me see if I could do it this way boom so that's how it's supposed to look then when it's in there let's go ahead and slide this over I gotta do it. I don't want to make sure I don't want to fall out and go down the drain but yeah hold it kind of pull the things apart a little bit and boom there you go it's in there um, before you lock it up this is the locking clamp before I lock it up I like to place it on something to make sure it's a hundred percent leveled all right it's in there level and then go ahead and close the clamp and there you have it your razor is prepared and ready to slice something up hopefully not my head wide open this is what they actually use in the shop. When you go to the barber shop, I never actually went to a barber shop and seen a barber cut somebody's head bald with a safety razor. Even though this is a pretty great tool, I like this. But every time I go to the shop or something, which is very rare, or anytime I have been, barbers always using this to line people up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it official. I'm gonna officially be a barber once I get in, get to shaving my head with this successfully. I mean, and now we're gonna go ahead and lather lather the head up all right i think i actually did a, a good lather today it's pretty it's pretty good not too thick and it's kind of a little bit runny but not not too runny you can see it's kind of staying put sliding down just a tad bit not too much I think I worked it up pretty good. I guess I underestimated myself in the beginning there. Here we go. Alright, first couple seconds, pretty good. Got it worked up on there. Rinse it off. Next spot. Keep it going. Gotta go slow when I get to the front of my head because uh, I'm starting to get those bumps again at the front of my head. That's why I use the Noxzema and stuff because when I was using that steadily, for everybody that asks why I use the Noxzema, um, it's pretty much just to get a good cleanup. Feels like it makes my head fresh. Like same thing freaking uh, when you use freaking scope mouthwash or Listerine on your mouth and it makes it feel fresh. That is what um, Noxzema does for my head. It makes it just feel like that's the finishing touch for me. So that's why I use it. So this seems to be working pretty good. Um, I do have to work it around a little bit differently than the way I do with the uh, a safety razor. Normally when I have a safety razor, I just put it to my head, um, start small, but then I just keep going. And I can actually press down a little bit harder because of the guard that's on here. With this, however, don't want to press down because the blade is pretty much wide open. So if you press hard, it's going to go deeper and deeper into your skin. You're going to cut yourself. So be careful. Once again, I can be very careful when I go by my ears because the skin around your ears is very thin. So you can cut yourself real easy in that area. Um, now I'm ready to go to the back of my head. Hopefully you guys can see. All right. Now when I'm at the back, it's more uh, comfortable for me to hold it this way. The way I would normally hold it if it was on my face. Um, all right. Press lightly, you don't need to go too hard. 
just angle the blade and let it do all the work for you it's a lot easier and uh, wise to go over the same spot multiple times if you need to versus pressing it really hard trying to get it all in one swipe I think the first pass was pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and re-lather my head and do it again. Then we'll clean it off and see how it looks. Fuck, I feel like I cut myself right there. Mm, but I didn't. Felt like it though. Maybe it'll bleed later. Or maybe not. Well, I guess that was a close call. Ah, look. I did get myself. Remember I said might have got away with it? It looks like the length of the entire blade got me. Just took a while for the blood to come out. Got me though. I knew I felt it. Clean it up around the ear. Now I'm gonna hit it with the knocks. Noxzema time. Go ahead and scoop a bit out of my finger. I feel like any like cuts I have and everything like that, plus the little bumps that I've been getting like naturally in the front of my head. Um, I feel like the Noxzema cleans it up pretty good for everybody who asks why I use this. And at one point, I did make a video one time showing myself um, shaving with this like I use Noxzema as shaving cream and that worked pretty well too but um once I was introduced to Parasso that's just the better way to go because this of course you wouldn't be able to use a brush on this because it's not going to lather up or anything but that Parasso lathers up and it does a terrific job so I just stick with Parasso for now at least And the last step in the cleanup process, can you guess? Can you guess? All my regulars should know already. The answer is, dun 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 dun, dare to be bald, moisturizing lotion. Finishing touches, boom, put a little bit. You can see it's not too thick, it's kind of runny. It just gets right up in your skin. Oh. Boom, all done. So this has been my very, very first time using a straight edge razor to shave my head bald. Normally, I was using either the Wall Custom Pros or I tried the Wall Balding Clippers or I'd use the Wall Color Pros. Um, and then, I don't know, different different ways I've doing, been doing it, uh, trying to shave my head bald. So go ahead and look at my channel. Some people even use just straight trimmers which that's pretty much is going to give you a low haircut. It's not really going to give you um, a smooth bald cut if you use just trimmers. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment if you want. Um, any questions and everything, feel free to ask and I'll try to get those answered. Do have some more reviews and stuff coming for you guys soon. I might actually be going to the store to pick up a product today um, and I'll let you guys know my experience with that. I'll probably do that live on camera as well. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Head nice and shiny, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Peace.